Welcome back to another Space Engineers tutorial video, maybe, kind of. So today I thought we'd look at interiors and I made a previous video on three types of interiors that you can, you know, put into your ships and uh, add just a little more detail on the inside. But today I think I'm going to show you how I would implement it into one of my ships. So the ship that I have in front of me right now that you see is the new, new Tandari Basilisk class frigate. So what I changed about their whole look now for the Tandari species is that, you know, it's less open, it's more slender and sleek, and it's kind of like almost submarine based. Like it's got, it's got this smooth top and it's uh, basically mirrored on the bottom. Um, it can go in atmosphere. It's got all the atmospheric thrust that it needs. It's got some hydrogen. It's got some ion. Uh, so this ship can go every which way. The exterior isn't quite done yet. I actually still have to add some uh, point defense guns and just a little more detail, a little more greeblies on the outside just to make it a little more detailed. Uh, I went with this new style of thruster where it kind of like has this ribbed open concept, but just in this area. So the entire back is not like super open. Um, I mean, these thrusters are pretty exposed, but um, once I complete the exterior, I should be able to hide these pretty well. But today we're gonna to be focusing on the interior and what we can do to make it look and feel very real. Now I wanna use the Basilisk specifically because I always have troubles trying to make the interior for my basilisk especially when making a ship with an interior you want to make the interior feasible for your engineer so um, that means they can get around and they can repair each component they can get to every section and uh well, essentially repair every component for example i have a lot of components in my hangar bay uh obviously there's going to be one main entrance from the hangar bay into the um living area so you can come out and you can heal up and repair any of these components i'm going to make a, a decoy area right here as well as right below um this area make a hole to get down we have all of these gyros and everything um most of the components are exposed and down here on the very bottom so i want to make it so that you can get to these points and you can accept access all of these areas and and repair them as well as these uh reactors and you should be able to walk all the way into the back and actually repair this entire area now there's a technique that i learned that you can use which is very helpful is to use welders within your ship to repair uh components that you can't really get at so i could have one here facing this way and then one here facing that way and now this whole area will be continuously repaired so long as these are on and they're being refueled and have uh, parts going to them. And I think it's going to be important to have reactors where, or sorry, have uh, welders pointing to the reactors at least. So we'll have two right here. So they heal, so they repair these upwards thrusts and it will also repair uh, the the reactor block because it is actually technically the reactor block touches uh, this welder. So since we're down in this area, let's make the interior for the lower deck. So this lower deck is going to be the engine room, the area where all the components are exposed. So we can make this as greebly and as intricate as we want. Just going to take a look on the outside so we can change it just a little bit just to give us a little more room. That will be fine. Take that off. Then we can use this passageway, which is beautiful and I love it very much, just to give us a lot of space and a lot of walking space. And now you'll notice that this is kind of showing on the outside, but you may like that look because it may add just a little bit more detail to the outside of your ship. And for me, in my case, I actually enjoy these little greebly and exposed parts so i like to keep them on my ship all right so i just changed this area right here so uh originally we had conveyors um going from uh the center the main conveyor column in the middle 
straight across right here and I couldn't really get across from the left side to the right side. So what I did is I just kind of put conveyor blocks where the floor is and I'll be able to cover those up later when I start working on the next floor. But I did this so we can make just a little bit of a hallway from this side to the other. Something that I think looks really nice and really good on uh, designs is using these interior blocks as like tubing. It almost like feels like there's just more conveyors, there's more exposed components on your ship than there actually is. So you know, you can imagine that there's oxygen or power running through these tubes and then you'd have your crewmates repair each area. And we'll add some railings as if you know you needed a uh, safe railing so you didn't like just jump into the turbines but if you need to actually repair them you can come down here and pretend that they are turned off and then repair them as well as repair all the gyros underneath or that are well hanging up underneath so now that we have the basic area all filled out we can simply just add uh, some lights now I like using the interior light because it has a bigger radius and uh, I feel like these lights look more industrial. So what we're gonna do is just place them where we can and if we can't place them anywhere in a certain area, we can uh, remove some blocks just to place them in. But I think we can fit them all in. So if we turn off our lights, we can kind of see these lights can go to our control panel, lights, we can select them, and we can see in the background how they light up and how much we want that to affect the area. We could also give them like an orangey industrial tinge. I like to turn the intensity down a lot and you know, make it seem a little more dim. The Zendarians would have red lights, so let's. And then we will group them as engine room lights. Now granted, this isn't really an engine room because uh, the reactors are back here. Oh, I guess it is, you know, you can kind of get at the reactors from there, uh, but it's more of like a gyro. Uh, no, I'd say it's a thruster room. So this is the main floor. This is gonna be the main lobby area, probably where all the crew quarters are, the mess hall, um, just your basic, basic stuff. And not really, important components of the ship this is just how i layer my ships so we're going to go as you can see this this floor will be a lot bigger but uh we're going to have this main floor which is crew quarters and mess hall the next floor which is going to be a med bay and maybe cryo room we'll see how much space we have and then the top floor is going to be the cab obviously and at the very back what i typically do is have some sort of captain's quarters so it's just like a it's just like a crew quarters, but like much more roomier with one bed in. It would be for the captain. But what I like to start out with the main floor is determine where our docking port is going to be. Now I find this a very important part of a ship, and I think it's very it's missed on a lot of other builds. Now there are many ways to do a docking port for ships. I've seen merge blocks, I've seen connectors, I've seen multiple merge blocks, but I like to keep it fairly simple. <clears throat> and just have two sliding doors with a connector. Perfect. Well, actually, what I'm gonna try is something I haven't actually tried before, just to give me as much room as possible, is we're gonna have the airlock right on the side, right here. Oh, I like that. I like the look of it. So it's very important to just kind of play around with your builds as well. I've said that before, but you know, just make sure that it's nothing's really finalized because that's where you kind of run into problems and you realize, you know, oh, this isn't what I want. This isn't what it, it's not looking how I imagine it to look. But you kind of just have to play around and, you know, see what works for you. Yeah, I like that. Gives it a nice rib feel. So then we come in to the airlock, which will be right here. Then you come into this hallway and then there's going to be two walkways so this here comes the hard part okay uh this is gonna take a lot of time and effort but i, I do have a lot of space to work with so that's very good um, and you also want to make sure that you have conveyors and points where oxygen can come out of so i'm just gonna speed through this part and i hope you enjoy
the Basilisk, well known across the galaxy as a constantly updating freight. Built by the Tandari Tech Corporation, this was recently refitted for its intended role but now focused on the interior. The interior was updated for better repairs and better access to components among the ship. The interior was cramped, but for the Tandari species, this felt like home, as they were known for making tight spaces in which they lived in on their home world. Hallways were now more direct to reach each area of the ship, such as crew quarters, mess hall, hangar bay, and the upper deck. The interior was not complete yet, but well on its way to becoming a home away from home for the Tandari species whilst on voyages towards oncoming space conflict. That's all the time we have today because uh, I have to edit this video and post it today and I hope you enjoy. So uh, stay tuned for part two. Also still continuing the superstar, uh, my version of the Star Destroyer. I'm very excited to start the guns of this amazing vessel. So stay tuned for that as well. Follow me at, on Twitter at L Chonkers. I, th I think that's it at least, you know, just to keep you guys updated on what's happening and what's going on. And uh, so you guys can interact with me. Once again, thank you all so much for viewing my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to become part of this beautiful Chonk Empire. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Chonkers, your lord ever.